Hello and welcome to Builders License Training Institute's tutorial on how to get started with your courses. The first step you're going to want to take is go to our website, www.licensetobuild.com. From there, we'll hit the red login button in the top right hand corner. Here is where you'll log into your course. So put in your username and password that you created when you purchased the course. This tab will come up when you first log in. This is our license tracking feature, and what this does for you is it tracks your license and will send you email reminders on when it's time to renew or take more continued education to renew the license. So go ahead and add in your license title, the state, the trade, your license number, The date you were licensed. If you don't know the date your license was issued, you can put any date prior to today. I will put April 1st and your expiration date. And I will put May 31st, 2021. From here, we'll hit save. Once you've saved your license, you'll be looking at your My Courses page. From here, you can see the courses that you've purchased, the courses that you've completed, and some information based on those courses. You can see the type of course. The blue film strip indicates that this is a video course. The little blue speaker means that this is a narrated course, or it will be read to you if you so choose. And then the book, meaning this is a text-based course so you'll be able to read through the information. Let's go ahead and take a look at a video course. When you click on the course name, you'll see a drop-down menu. In this menu, you can see the number of lessons that are within the course. You'll have a link to the course instructions and a link to the syllabus. Let's go ahead and hit that blue Start Course button to take a look at the course instructions. The course instructions is full of great information to teach you how to navigate the course. Once you've read through this information, you can go ahead and take a look at the syllabus. The syllabus is just a quick outline of what the course is going to cover. And from here, let's go right on to that first lesson. This is the first lesson to a video course. There's a box on the top of your screen, and this is the video. Let's go ahead and hit the play button in the bottom left hand corner of that box to start the video up. As the video starts playing, you'll see a time counter at the bottom of the screen. This indicates how far you are within the video. If you ever need to get up and walk away or take a break, you can always pause the video, write down the timestamp. That way, if you close out, you can come right back to that point by hovering over this timeline and clicking. So if we stopped at 8 minutes and 56 seconds, we can come right back to 8 minutes and 56 seconds. The course saves your progress at the completion of each lesson. Once you've completed this video and completed the quiz, it'll save your progress. That way when you come back, you can start right in on lesson two. Let's go take a look at one of our narrated courses. We'll go back to our My Courses page by hitting My Courses on our menu to the left hand side. If you ever see that this menu is missing, you can click on this three line button at the top right next to the Certified Training Institute's logo and bring it back, or if it's bugging you, you can make it go away. So let's hit that My Courses button. Let's click on the next course within our list, Estimating and Bidding for Success. This is a narrated course. If you've already read through the course instructions and the syllabus, you can go right on to the first lesson by hitting the Begin Lesson button. Here's the first lesson to our narrated course. As you can see, there's a smaller box at the top. By hitting play in this narration box, you can start the narrator. They will read through the information and you can follow along. As you scroll through and follow along, you'll see the, the narration control follows you. So if you ever need to pause, you can pause and take a break and come back. Let's take a look at one of our text-based courses. The text-based course I have chosen is the Michigan Uniform Energy Code. Let's go ahead and click on that course. 
And since I've already completed this course, you'll see there's a retake lesson and quiz button. I'm going to go ahead and click on that retake lesson and quiz button to take a look at the course. Here you'll be able to read through the information, and once you've completed reading through it, you'll take the quiz. I'll go ahead and click on that now. From here you'll go through and answer the 30 question quiz. Now not all of our quizzes are 30 questions. It all depends on what course you're taking. You may have a 5 question quiz or a 10 question quiz. Or if it's a large CE course you'll have a 100 question quiz just to test your knowledge over that information. Once you've completed the quiz to your state's requirements, you'll be able to hit the complete course button and print out your certificate. Once you've completed the course, to print your certificate, you just hit the Print Certificate button at the bottom of the course. And it will download your certificate. All browsers download information differently. So in Google Chrome, you'll see it downloads in a box off to your bottom left-hand corner. In Internet Explorer, it'll download at the bottom of the screen. And in Safari, it'll download to a Download tab in the top right-hand corner. We'll go ahead and open our certificate of completion, that way we can print it and save it to a file on our computer, that way if we ever need to get back to it, we can directly from our computer. Keep in mind, Builders License Training Institute saves all of these certificates for you. So if you ever need it and you didn't save it, we have it for you. We have you covered. Now that our certificate is open and we can see that we've completed that course, it'll pull the information from the license tracking function for your license number your name, and the signature from the executive director. You'll have this certificate if ever you need it. If you ever need to log out of your profile, you can click on your name up in the top right hand corner and hit log out. And it'll take you back to the login screen. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. And remember, if you run into any snags or have any issues or any questions that I didn't answer, you can always give us a call at 1-800-727-7104 or send us a quick email at info at traininginstitutesedu.com. I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you very much for joining me.